Hello everyone. I'm out here trying to get some silage for our cows. I was gonna take a couple bales of silage down to my cows on the river tonight and kind of give them a treat. It, the cows love the silage. Like I said, it's a, it's a fermented hay. So when we bale it, we bale it up a little bit wet and we just stuff it in these, these bags here. I don't know if you can kind of see it. That's the remnant of one bag. So you, just, you stuff it in that bag when the, the hay is still wet and you seal off the ends and it just it keeps all the oxygen from getting in there and it causes the bale to ferment and the cows sure love it. But what's happened is the, the snow's gotten so deep that I wasn't able to, the spear that's here on the back of the tractor, the tractor is sitting up too high that I wasn't able to get down low enough to spear the bale and pull it out of the bag. So I had to dig myself a little bit of, I had to, had to dig down a little bit here in some of that snow so I could get down low enough on the tractor to, to spear that bale. So like I said, it's just, it's just turned into a mess. The snow just makes everything so hard. Um, so you can see here, I got the bale speared though. So there's one bale and I think there's, I don't know, we probably got maybe Oh, four more bales left in this bag. And then we got two more bags. There's one there, then there's one behind it. There's about about 40 bales in each bag. So like I said, I got this one speared. I'm just trying to, trying to crawl up here so I can cut these. I can't get through the snow. Okay. All right, I made it. So, so I'm just I'm cutting this bag so I can pull the bale out. I'll show you what the silage looks like. Nice little doll. I reach up here. And I'm just gonna pull this back to show you. So I don't know if you can see or not, but it's the haze kind of wet. This has got a bit of grass in it. I wish you could smell it. it smells really good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull forward and pull this bale out of the out of the bag and I'll grab the rest of them and we'll run down to the river with it. And give our cows a treat. The dogs are with me again, so we'll make them run a little bit and get some exercise. Come on, Piper. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see if we can pull this bale out with it. Not losing it. Alright, there we go. One silent fan. Four more to go. Alright, well I went and cut the, the plastic off this bale. Just try to make it a little bit easier to grab. See if I can spear it while holding the camera. All right, I've just been taking the last few bales over and dropping them off in the barnyard for my dad so he can go out there and feed his cows tomorrow with the backhoe. Because right now we just can't get out here with the backhoe so we've kind of got to shuttle all the hay with this green tractor because it's got four wheel drive. And I came back out here and I just cut the, the bag off these last two bales so I can grab them and we'll take these and 
run them down to the river for our cows and like I said we'll go down there and check on everything and see if we got any new calves I was down there last night and uh, no new calves we're still at six calves and they all seem to be doing good um, but we it does look like there's a couple more cows are getting fairly close maybe this week they might calve and so we'll check on them and just make sure everybody's doing good down there so let me grab these two bales and then we'll head down to the river so this is what I was kind of talking about with that spear so this spear is what I used to pull these bales out of the bag and the snow had built up so high that the tractor sat too high and my spear was just going over the top of the bales so I couldn't I couldn't spear them so I had to dig dig me out a little trench here with the bucket and so I could get low enough so I get low enough to spear him with that spear yeah just, just turned into a mess it's usually about this time in the winter where I start cussing the snow we're, we're getting pretty close like so we're almost to March and once we hit March we'll start we'll start warming up the snow will start going away a little bit you know slowly then I bet this year we'll still have snow in April wouldn't surprise me one bit but like I said March will be our transition month month um, that's what we look forward to is when we start to warm up a little bit this time of year so let's grab these bales and head on down any new calves right now but I'll, I'll, look, I'll look a bit closer through them willows and make sure we don't have any new ones and I'll check on these ones that we got everybody seems to do, be doing pretty good I think they're excited about the silage so that calf right there number two that's the one we had in the bathtub like I said he's, he's doing good He's up and running around. Makes the guy feel pretty good. There's calf number six right there. So that's our newest calf. So he's doing pretty good also. So I'll dump these bales in the feeders and like I said, I'll just wander around and just check on everything and make sure we don't have any more new calves and just check on the ones that we already have and make sure they're all doing good. Like I said, they love the silage. They're all crowded around this feeder. And like I said, the rest of these feeders are, they still got hay in them. That feeder still got hay. Then I just dumped another silage bale. 
in that feeder back there. I guess I haven't realized it yet. I'm gonna walk around real quick and check on these calves. Hey goes. Hey goes. Like I said, here's one of our beasts for August. That red baldy face steer. He's looking pretty good. Hey goes. See if we can't find some of our calves. So there's a calf. Here's a couple calves. So we got calf number one. So this is our first calf, and then we got calf number two. So one and two right here. It's our first and second calf. And like I said, number two is the one that we had in the bathtub the other night. He's doing good. He's up and alert. And that one there, that's a, that's a steer we got going to butcher in January next year. We got a couple more calves up here. Let's see, we got calf number six. So th this one here, he's our newest calf. And this red broccoli face calf is calf number three. It's our third calf. So we got four calves here. So we're missing two calves, two calves. There it goes, there it goes. It goes. It goes. It goes. It goes. Like I said, here's our other beef for next August. This broccoli face steer here. He's looking good also. Oh, there's a calf there going behind the tractor. Let's go check on him real quick. It goes. It goes. Well, she's doing good too. I'm not gonna chase after her too much. So we got there's a calf back there nursing. So one, two, three, four. And the fifth one was that one. Here's our fifth one right here. There's our fifth one. I'm not sure where calf number six is. I'll find the sixth calf here in a second. I don't want to stir the cows up too much. So they get running around and trample one of these calves. So I think they're all doing good though. Everybody looks like they're doing they're strong and they're alert. They look perky, their ears are up, and none of them look too droopy. So that makes me excited. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wander around here for a minute again and just check on everything and, and I'll head back down to the house and call it a night. This one seems pretty friendly. I'll give her. I'll give her. Okay, I found all six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six calves. They say they all seem like they're doing good. So 
I've just been standing here kind of watching the cows and the calves and I've been watching this calf right here calf number five and I, I'm not sure he, he just seems a little sleepy almost I'm hoping he's just sleepy but I'll, I'll keep my eye, eye on him is they just they'll get a little droopy almost looking like they'll act sleepy and droopy and that usually mean there's something going on with him but I felt his mouth and his mouth's warm seems like he's doing all right but I guess I'll just keep my eye on him make sure he's doing all right and we'll just watch out for him and maybe just maybe just ate a bunch of or drink a bunch of milk maybe just feeling a little sleepy like I do I eat a bunch of food and I get put in food coma maybe that's what's going on with him so I guess I'll just keep my eye on him next couple days and we'll just see what happens with him Everybody else seems like they're doing good though. We got this one here nursing and we got a couple more over there. They, they laid down bedded in the hay there for now. We'll be back down here tomorrow and do the same thing. Just check on everybody and make sure everyone's doing good. Here's a couple right here that's bedded down. I guess that's one good thing about all this hay that get, get, gets pulled out of the feeders and calves get to bed down in it. The only thing I don't like about it is the calves will bed down there and, and I guess sometimes they can get stepped on when the, when the cows come in to eat. They'll just step on them, but usually the, usually the moms are smart enough to not step on them. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes it gets stepped on. Like I said, everybody looks like they're doing good. One, two, three, four, five. The sixth one here is nursing. That's something you kind of like to watch for too is when the calf's tail's swinging like that, you know they're getting some milk. I'm like a dog, I guess they're happy getting their milk. Alright, let's head home for the night. Lindsay's down there cooking dinner for us again. I think we're having brats tonight. Be nice to get home and be done for the day. Dogs are on the tractor waiting for me. There's Piper. There's Issa. Head on home. <laughs>